First drafts of Prince Harry's forthcoming memoir were reportedly rejected by publishers, sparking concerns he's ramped up revelations now likely to rock the royal family. The new book is called Spare, an unsubtle whine about his life in Prince William's shadow, and it's due out just months before King Charles's coronation, which I'm sure his father is thrilled about. Well, joining me now is Vanity Fair royal editor Katie Nicholl and historian Dr Tessa Dunlop, fresh from her extraordinary uh, performance on Good Morning Britain today, which I happened to catch, actually. You were very fired up with old Tom Bowers. I was extremely angry on a couple of counts, yeah. yes. I Your was. position is that anyone who's written about the royals has no right to have adverse comment about absolutely Harry uh, doing his memoir. No, that's absolute uh, twisting oh, okay, okay. Uh, what I'm about, Piers. I've just written a book out next week, yeah. which uh, I'm very good at getting in there, yeah. Elizabeth and Philip, yeah. and I therefore cannot throw stones at glass houses, mm. but I do take sincere objection to someone like Tom Bauer sitting there across the table from me and having a go at Harry and Meghan raking in the money off the back of the royal family. Tell me that Tom Bauer, with his ridiculous book, isn't any well, different. Well, OK, here's what I would say to that. A, he's a very good journalist and he's, he never gets sued. And Meghan is a brilliant PR person. Well, she, she might be actually... And actually, I don't mind her podcast. She has a pleasing voice. I don't disagree, disagree that she milks that PR mm. udder like very few people I've seen. But I think on the central point he made by way of defence, which I agree with him about, he's, look, in the end, he's not... Prince Harry. He's not given royal titles. He's not had all the privilege and wealth that comes from being a royal, which is paid for by the British public. It's a completely different kettle of fish. Both of you are royal authors, but it's very, very different. And I would say, Katie, about this, this book by Harry, mm. if you're King Charles, you're mourning your mother and your oh, father not in the last two years. No, I'm, I'm you so don't sorry. Good morning? I do morning. believe that he was sincerely missing his parents. Right. Well, I, if you don't mind, I'll finish my question. Yeah. He's mourning both his parents. He's, he's lost them the last two years. He's taken on being king after the longest apprenticeship in history and obviously very protective of his wife, Camilla, and the word is that Harry is going to take down Camilla in this book. If that happens, why, frankly, after they've already been spray-gunning the royals now for two years and, say, left for freedom and privacy, why should they keep the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a county, by the way, I come from, where I have spent more time in the last month than they've spent in, in their lives? Well, I, I think, and I've said this before, I know Tom said it as well, but I, I said it a while ago, I had a, on very good authority from a source close to the king, that if they do trash, mm. Camilla particularly is very, very protective, as yeah. you would expect to the Queen Consort, and if they use this as an opportunity to tarnish not just the reputation of the crown, but to attack Camilla, that really will... I, I think it'll be the nail in the coffin for the relationship honestly, and for the title. this is the family we're talking about. Yeah. They had a pop at them on Oprah... Right, calling them a bunch of callous racists. Are they going to really do it all over again in a book? Do you know, if you don't want this book to succeed, if it irks you that much, oh, I I, stop I, talking about oh, no, it. Hang on, hang on. So, a, that, that's no, what no, I say to you. It will succeed. It will be a massive number one bestseller. That's not my argument. He's got to make his money back by getting out there and fucking well, precisely. My point is, he is trashing the very institution yes. and the people at the head of it which have afforded them the titles, yeah. which is the only it, reason anybody cares about It is an it. extraordinary gilded cage which comes with a dump load of privilege and lots of problems. Mm. It's a goldfish bowl from day one. Princess Elizabeth grew up in that goldfish bowl. Harry grew up in that goldfish bowl and couldn't really find another girl to go with him who wanted mm. to join him in the goldfish bowl, which is why Meghan became his saviour in many respects. The queen, oh, look at Philip, look at Philip when queen, he first the married The Queen died, died one of the most beloved people in the world. Indeed she did. Because she never complained, she never explained, she never whined, she never trashed the monarchy, never trashed her family. She had her ups and downs. These two in California yes. want their royal cake and eat it. They want to make millions trading off their royal status while saying the royal family are god-awful. By the way, my father's awful, the Queen Camilla is awful, the monarchy is disgusting, and they want to make millions and, doing and it. And I believe... And I that say the they British, shouldn't be allowed to. I believe... I, I wish they weren't, but they are. And I believe the British monarchy should be broad-shouldered enough to just let it wash over, because that is last what you can... And that's no, what I the Queen would want. I, I think, in, the I think there's, want. there is an inevitability that if that is what they're setting out to do... And he may not necessarily, by the way. None of us have seen these extracts. They don't actually know what's in the Trust book. Trust me, they're not but paying that, 20 million for uh, nothing. Paying I agree. Random house but for a that, lot of guff. If that, is the, if that is the intention, then it can be very okay, damaging. I've got, listen, you